Welcome to Hotel Articulate. Could I have your name, please? Okay. I see you're a returning customer. Welcome back. We always appreciate. Our patrons returning to us. And it looks as if you've been one of our most executive customers. And with that in mind, again, I'd extend the warmest welcome. I'd like to offer you a refreshing and invigorating ginger reduction. That might sound a little bit obscure, but after a long flight, if you're traveling with for business or merely for pleasure, it's, uh, especially as we get a little bit older, we find that travel really kind of uh, trains us. And from our experience, we found that this particular drink, combined with a very, very specific almond, restores energy, helps with jet lag, and will have you feeling relaxed, but alert. Now here, I'd encourage you to try each of these. Now I will admit that this is quite cold, but interesting. satisfying excellent now the reason why we serve ginger as I said is because experience and a little bit of science has proven to reinvigorate the body and the mind now I also mentioned a very rather unique selection of almonds. Now I will admit, perhaps you were expecting caviar or um, maybe a little filet mignon and I assure you that is waiting for you to every order. But these almonds come from a royal genetic and in culmination with the ginger reduction. For whatever reason, the body responds as if it's been given a new lease of life. Still, that sense of relaxation begins to wash over you. Excellent. We ask for just a little bit of trust, just a modicum of trust, that we will take care of you and provide a level of hospitality that only the articulate brand can hope to deliver against. Now, as you are Our premium client. We have, of course, reserved for you the finest suite the hotel has to offer with panoramic, breathtaking views of the city, the marina. 
And something tells me I think you are really going to be impressed. Let me give you a little look. Now this room, of course, has two entrances. And as we enter the room, we're met with generous dining table for business, or just for getting the family around for a bite to eat. The room also complements two bathrooms. A French touch to the styling. 72 inch widescreen TV and of course and in my personal opinion the little orange recliner there turn that round to face the balcony sit with a cup of coffee and relax now amongst its many features this particular room brings you a standalone marble bathtub sitting upon a dark mahogany marble floor. Two sinks, two showers, of course rainfall shower and the traditional high powered shower. As we Make our way into the bedroom. We're met by a 62 inch television and a bed with what can only be described as perhaps the finest view in the entire city. The room is tastefully decorated. And as we step onto the balcony, we're met with the city. The marina, the water sports to your right hand side. And this balcony actually extends the entire length of the room. And we make our way down. And you'll actually find that we can re enter the living room, should we so choose. Marble table. As we turn back around, view is breathtaking and looks particularly inspiring. Now given the room is east facing, you will be met with the most beautiful sunrises. And just as a small extra, you will find a curtain rail controller. So every morning you can roll back the curtains automatically and be met with beauty. Enjoy your stay of the Hotel Articulate. Now I have a feeling you're quite excited to check in. I will take no more of your time. Leave your bags with us. We'll take them to your room. And once you're checked in, settled in, come back down and see Matt on our concierge desk. And he'll provide you um, some entertainment, maybe get some food ordered for you as well, okay? If you like, I could take a, a food order for you now, so we can be sitting waiting for you when you come down. Some pancakes, of course, and some syrup. Excellent. I'll have our chef prepare our finest buttermilk pancakes. Just let us know when you're coming down. We'll be waiting for you. If you're also a, a coffee connoisseur, we'll have Matt whip you up uh, our finest V60 with a selection of beautifully roasted beans. Enjoy your stay. If you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to give us a call.
Excuse me. Hi, how can I help? Yes, my colleague, who is also a man, but infinitely worse looking than I am, happened to mention I could be expecting you, and you are in our presidential suite. Excellent. Magnificent, yes. We aim to please, and we always do the target. So, you must be hungry. Before we look to have any excursions and activities booked, before we... I'll be brewing you some rather specialized coffee that I think you're going to love. Before we get to any of that, you were promised buttermilk pancakes. Our chef has literally just taken these And homemade maple syrup. Now this is sweet. If you'd like me to administer, I'm more than happy to. A little bit extra for just in case. Please <laughs> enjoy these. If you require some more maple syrup or more pancakes, just let me know. Feel free. While you're eating, I will, well, I heard a rumor that you are something of a coffee aficionado. And being a barista myself, I welcome open discussion. And I'm curious if you are a Jeff Hoffman or Katz. <laughs> Excellent. After my own art. Okay, so we have four specialty roasted coffees for you today. And I will talk you through them individually. And these come from our partners at Matina Roastery. So the first we have a Nicaraguan bean. And this is a medium dark. In fact, most of the coffees we'll be offering today are medium dark. We have one light roast that I think might interest you. But let's discuss. Now this is a Arabic bourbon. And if you're familiar with the variety of bean, Arabic bourbon is uh, two distinctive traits that these coffee beans exhibit um, grown at a fairly high altitude of 1600 meters um, and these are washed it just means that we're treating the beans once they're they're picked and drying now so this is a medium roast and you can expect uh, quite a nutty almost like a vanilla aroma Gentle mouthfeel from the Nicaraguan. Quite a high caffeine content, actually. Um, and in all honesty, that might be my favorite blend to kickstart my mornings with. Okay. Now, this is our Chiapas. 
Mexican beans grown at um, a little bit lower altitude about 12 1300 meters um, and these were actually roasted by a gentleman called Enoch who is a, a Q grader so particularly high rating in the roastery business um, and you notice these are Arabica yellow and a red Katua and these are completely washed, fully washed, which can give a, a more intense flavor because you're getting to the bean easier, or easier rather. And again, you can expect um, a nuts, um, maybe even caramel notes from this, uh, perhaps with a, a little bit of a, an overscent of almond. So the differentiation between nut an almond. Nut is more of a, an earthy texture and flavor, whereas almond has quite a sweet overtone. Okay. Probably, and this sounds quite strange, if you're used to drinking specialty coffee, then you'll understand what I mean, but this is probably the least coffee flavored coffee that we're selling you today and of course by selling I mean you're all inclusive because you're in our presidential suite but a beautiful offering nonetheless sure now here we have our Tanzanian blend. Um, again, medium roast. Similar to the Mexican that was also a medium roast. Um, again, between 12 to, to 1300 altitude. And these are actually uh, are also washed. But the flavor for the Tanzanian is perhaps my equaled favorite. This is more of a, of a spicy citrus, even with a hint of grapefruit. Um, it's got quite a quite a coating to it, and you'll, you'll realize that the initial flavor profile that you're met with is a little bit bitter, but the after flavor is quite contrary. And there's different methods of brewing this particular blend. Um, and we found that uh, the 4-6 is our most successful approach. In fact, we, we approach three of these beans um, with the, the 6-4, um, the other being the uh, James Hoffman approach, where everything is... Um, added quite quickly. The water is added quite quickly. And if I'm confusing you or talking about something you have no experience, I'll brew the coffee for you. No problem. And the... I can smell that just from the bag alone. The El Salvadorian. This is a light roast, a light roast. Now, typically with uh, light roasts, you can expect a slightly sweeter overtone to the coffee. Um, not quite as bitter. Um, and these are, are grown much higher, as high as 1750. Um, and the, the, the processing isn't, wa they're not washed. It's called honey. <laughs> smell the sweetness coming from the bag. It's a beautiful bean. Um, again, depending on how you grind it, I would go a little bit further than coarse, like a medium coarse with this, with our uh, dark roasts, because we, we usually approach it with the 4-6. The it means we apply 40% of our water. Um, in the first stage 
than the remaining 60% of the total volume in the second stage. But I, if I had to make a recommendation for you, I would give the El Salvadorian bean a try. So again, an Arabica bourbon with a pacamara or pasamara. And the variety lends itself to a, a chocolatey cocoa or cacao um, flavor profile with again that hint of almond because the sweetness and maybe even a little bit of grape in there a bold statement for uh, what is essentially a coffee bean but give the El Salvadorian a try excellent choice excellent choice Okay, now ordinarily, and you can, you can order the coffee however you like, but since I saw on our guest approval request form where you listed a little list of things that you like, you did make particular reference to V60s. Now, I will prepare the V60 today for you. And I want you to tell me if it isn't the greatest cup of coffee you've ever had, I will give you your money back. How about that? I am aware that you didn't pay anything for the room, but uh, let's, pre let's pretend that you did. I would be willing to put my reputation on the line. And all I'm going to ask you is three questions. Okay? Just three. First question. Sweet or sour? Sweet. Dark or light? Okay. Final question. And the dark and light question isn't really in regards to beans. It's actually in regards to our taste. So when we drinking coffee, a dark coffee uh, is quite bold, quite full-bodied, whereas a light coffee, a little bit sweeter, a little bit cleaner, but it's difficult to pick up the nuances in the light coffee. And the third question is perhaps the most important. with or without milk. Okay, I would suggest drinking this V60 without milk, but what I can do is provide a little garden of full cream or any milk variety that you choose. My preference would be a little jug of full cream milk. And when you have about one fifth of your coffee left, pour in the cream, and it makes for a delightfully sweet little ensemble. Okay? All right. Now, before we start, we will be basing this around a 20 gram approach. We'll be grinding with a 1Z Presso. I much prefer manual grinders because I like the control. Now these were roasted three days ago. Okay, 
we have 20 grams of coffee beans. Now, if you ever want to buy one Zenpresso, people complain a little bit about how you get the beans into the grinder. Make a little funnel with your hands. And we'll get Screw the chamber on. Lit. And there's something very satisfying about grinding your own coffee beans, and it's something that we like to do with the guests because they simplified it quite fascinating. Now this will be quite a coarse, a medium coarse grind. <coughs> Absolutely beautiful. It doesn't take long. Now, the scales also provide a timer that's integral to our process. Let's grab our filter. V60 or Chemex are brewed in very similar fashions as you may or may not know. We're adding a filter to a cone. You see these little rips on the V60. These are famous for helping balance extraction. And the rule of creating a perfect V60 There are many rules But one of which is to always pre-wash your filter And make sure That the glass Right. Let me take our coffee grounds. To our scale, reset. Now, what's important with a V60, especially with uh, coffee grounds, is what's called blooming the coffee, where we're adding about double ratio. So, if you have 20 grams of beans, you want about 40 grams of water, 40 milliliters of water, and you're going to leave it for about 45 seconds. And what this allows to do is for the coffee to bloom. And when we're seeing bloom, we're allowing carbon dioxide to escape out of the beans. Because that can distort the coffee.
coffee ground in the coffee bed and create channels where water will run through and you'll end up with an under extracted coffee. Put the table down a little bit for you. Now we're going to go ahead and add. And again, you can already smell the coffee infusing with the water. I'm actually going to let this sit just for a little while. Now, personally, if you're serving maybe a uh, Serving a, a dark roast, I'll be more inclined to use a slightly cooler water, not the 100 degrees that you were maybe taught to use. I would say maybe uh, 80, 85, maybe even a little bit lower, maybe 79 to 83. If it's a light roast, I will go a little bit warmer because you want to get that extraction. Water obviously is at its most soluble. when it's warm, but coffee doesn't respond so well at really high temperatures. But given this is a dark roast, I hoped it for about 85. And by the time we serve it, it'll be about 75, 77 degrees. And believe it or not, but you don't really want to be drinking V60 um, when it's first served. I mean, you can. You really want to wait just a little bit for it to cool down and you taste those aromas, those nuances and subtleties. And now we're on to our final pour. We have a perfect 300 mil. And while this, I don't want to disturb it too much while it drains, we'll give it a little stir. And we're good. Now if you were to follow James Hoffman's example, he likes to swirl what he calls coffee slurry twice and stir with a spoon. We follow the katsu don't stir. We let the coffee bed remain largely untouched and the only agitation we introduce is pouring the actual water itself. Now And now, my friend, I promise you this is worth the wait. This will be the nicest cup of coffee most flavorsome cup of coffee you will ever drink in your life. And I see you still have three pancakes left. Good. If you need anything else, you need 
anything further food wise. Some cold water perhaps to accompany the coffee. Okay, now while you're enjoying your coffee, I can leave you in peace while you enjoy your late breakfast, if that's what I want to call it. And when you're ready, I can come back and assemble go through some activities that you might want to book for free while you're here with us. Excellent. Take care. Hello again. You're looking a little healthier. A little bit of color to your cheeks. Something tells me that you might have enjoyed I go out on something of a whim and say that our coffee is literally the finest you will ever drink. We take great give pride and great care and attention to detail and brewing and grinding and roasting to bring you something special. With that in mind, I would like to welcome you to articulate design, relaxed luxury. And this is more than just a slogan for us. This is something that we really try to live by. And it's something that we incorporate into everything that we do. Now while you're with us, you are beyond all inclusive, meaning anything you can think of really, we will try to, to bring to you. If you want to eat lobster, scallops, um, Kobe beef, real Kobe beef, we've got you covered. If you want to snack out on aubergines. Your choice. But while you're with us, we offer a whole host of entirely free activities. And I'll talk you through them, if you like. So we have our spa treatments and our actual activity, physical activities, or excursions, if you if you are interested in our spa, allow me to detail some things that you can expect to find an offer. Our soap scrub facial. Now this is a soap that I think you wouldn't believe how soft the impact and effect to your skin is unless you try it but a very thin layer of soap is applied and a salted scrub exfoliates and leaves the skin feeling beautiful, smooth and revitalized. The Himalayan mud soak. Now, I have to be honest, this actually came from Suits. If you've ever seen Suits, maybe one of my favorite characters ever, Lewis, he has a bit of an obsession with mudding. And we incorporated that into our offering because there's something really quite unbelievable about sitting and soaking in mud. Deep tissue massage, the hot stone massage, each offering uh, something quite different. The hot stone massage is more, if you have a specific stress point or an aching point, I would tend to gravitate towards the hot stone. If you're looking more for an overall kind of a de-stressing, if you've been doing a lot of exercise, a deep tissue might be the right way to go. Our guided meditation, 
a great time there sit with our Reiki master, Sadhguru and he'll talk you through uh, how to find peace within yourself our honey wrap now this is an experience that I think you have to really try in fact I would encourage anybody to try a honey wrap it's unbelievably freeing it's like you're, you're being cocooned and then when the wrap comes off it's this feeling of complete bliss and almost euphoria actually now of course Absolutely. One of everything. After my own art again. Alright, if you thought about it, if you want to do any physical activities while you're here. Okay. Well, we offer jet skiing. And free jet skiing is this is a hotel first. Actually there that's a that's a bit of a lie. We have a sister chain in the Seychelles. Um, called Anandara Maya where we offer um, a lot of water sports entirely free including paddle boarding and that kind of stuff kayaking entirely free but it's very rare that you get water sports as part of your package um, full day fishing trip now fishing is I think one of the most misunderstood sports in the world don't think of it as catching fish think of it as being somewhere quiet and remote away from the world and the fishing portion is just to give you an objective so you don't feel bad about doing nothing just sitting at peace with nature and existing in the present moment the MS culinary class is actually Michelin star culinary class and we have a two star Michelin chef on site with us and in special occasions we can schedule a culinary class with her and uh, she's incredible absolutely incredible I would book that while it's there survival excursion now I think this is my favorite of all the things that we've done in any of the chains that I've worked at it teaches you how to build a fire How to prepare food, how to hunt food, um, and the necessities of understanding where the wind's blowing. It's a great time. Really, really great time. You can absolutely love it. It's uh, it's one night, actually, so you sleep out there. If you don't want to, you can go in the morning and come home. Back to your comfy, super king-size bed. I have seen the suite that you're in. loves these. I can't think why. But they're a lot of fun. We make a lot of use of dry ice. So lots of smoke and a lot of bright colors. Very tasty, but uh, a lot of fun. And they create your day. Our last on the list. Create your day. Now, what this actually entails is basically anything that you could think of within reason. If uh, you want to spend the day traveling to one of our remote islands um, and have dinner put on there for you, we can make it happen. And this is obviously subject to a little bit of back and forth, but uh, I can honestly say we have yet to fail to meet the requirements of a guest. Um, so give it a go. We can have a talk about this in a couple of days. I know you're here for five days. So I have a think about what a perfect day would look like. What the perfect food and drinks package would accompany it. And we'll make it happen. Yes. Okay. Excellent.
starts from 6 till midday 6 a.m. till midday but since you are beyond all inclusive your breakfast is essentially whatever you like it to be the pancakes for example thank you and I'm glad the coffee was to your liking of course If I was you, beef anglaise, and that is a fillet. 